The University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill Biology Department treats its guest speakers like rock stars. For its distinguished lecture series, the department regularly creates 9-inch by 22-inch silkscreen concert posters, just like the ones you'd find plastered to telephone poles around town. Bob Goldstein, a UNC Evo Devo biologist, spoke to the scientist about the rocking idea. Chapel Hill has a terrific little music scene, and there's some great band posters made by a couple of groups around town um, in this format. And in the biology department, we wanted to make posters for our distinguished seminars, and we decided to sort of copy their format and see if we can get the people who hand screen print the band posters to make them. So it really is it's sort of a, it, it's kind of a ripoff of their format. There's each one that just has one uh, big picture and some text around it, but it's, it's kind of a fun format to design for. Do you think it's uh, helped with attendance? Are you getting sellout gigs now? People notice the posters, definitely. Some of the posters get stolen, which we were, we were both pleased and dismayed to see. <laughs> so it was terrific to see them disappearing, although it's nice when some stay up so people come to the talks. And yeah, I think it catches people's attention. Who are some of the, the rock star scientists, if I can call them that? Who, who are some of the people that you're featuring on these posters? So recently we had um, Eric Tischhaus, who won the Nobel Prize for Developmental Biology. We've had, uh, I think, some of the other big names, Martha McClintock. She discovered that menstruation signals will synchronize in women living in a dormitory. Uh, we've had some uh, well-known evolutionary biologists, Dolph Schluter and Trevor Price. Recently, we had Ron Vale, uh, who works on, on motor proteins. And, and who's the company that's actually making the posters? Who's the designer? So I designed the posters. Uh, myself, the, the first time I made one of these, I called them and asked them if they would be willing, be willing to do them, and they asked for a mock-up, and I made the mock-up, and then they used it almost exactly as it was, so we decided in the end that the designs uh, were okay, and then the company is called The Merch. Uh, there are two guys there who have uh, a big space in Chapel Hill, uh, and they do the screen printing. It's really fun to go see them, actually, because every time I go over, I see all their posters hung up. And there are loads of band posters, Sonic Youth and Super Chunk and all these. And in among them, you find the scientists like Dolph Schluter and Eric Fischhaus and these people. It's, it's funny to see them together. Do you have any personal favorites? I, I really like the Martha McClintock one. It's got a, a menstruation cycle turned vertically, and it's a really it's a standard picture that people are used to seeing as part of the textbook description of the menstruation cycle, but it's sort of turned sideways, sideways and sort of stylized. Uh, a lot of people really like the Liz Robertson mouse one, which looks uh, really anatomical. And then there's 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 one I especially like by uh, it's for Annie Schmidt's talk, and it's got sort of almost a wrapping paper design of a Rhabdopsis in the background. Do you have any more coming up? Uh, there's one coming up for for Matt Meselson, which will have a giant rotifer on it. Matt Meselson, you know, is the one Meselson installed uh, proved how how DNA replicates long ago. And now he does some really interesting work on, on uh, rotifers. How do the speakers themselves, the scientists, how do they appreciate being turned into concert posters? Uh, I think a lot of the, the speakers get a, get a kick out of it. They're, you know, we, we treat them like rock stars, which some people say is appropriate. <laughs>